But apparently Martin's watching while he eats. So I'm all ever appreciative of Martin. He gets he gets special hug huggles and cookies. Every where am I going? Hold on. Okay, I went the wrong way apparently. This, as you can see, is a large area. Let me see if I can no I can't zoom out. Uh, where we want to go, I believe, is right here. Uh, that'll lead to the other sand sea. Yes, we're not even... That is the halfway point, and this is the amount of exploration we can do. It's a big area. Uh, apparently, we need to go the other way, though. I think... There's actually... There might be a, a treasure or something you can get from going this way that you can't get from going in the middle, but I'm not sure. Um, see, that's the advantage of joining the Steam group. I tell you when I stream. Plus you can, although I don't think many people have done this, but you can join in on games with other people and whatnot. Or me! I happen to be playing something multiplayer, which I've had someone join me before. I can't remember what I was playing. But someone hopped in there and said, hello! That guy has haste. Sometimes, by the way, they'll come with haste. I'm not sure if they cast it on themselves, but they'll wander in with haste. I don't have haste or slow yet, and it's going to be quite a while before I can even buy those, so... Um, let's see here. I do have tanks added to Steam, I just don't play it anymore, so... It kind of negates that. I'll probably play it... Uh, well, let me rephrase that. The, the only thing I'll probably do with it anymore, unless they add game modes, is uh, showcase the test patches. Because unless they add game modes, I've already been there and done that. Let's not fight him. Ash, what are you doing? Come here. I don't want to break my doohicker. I've been playing that game for, what, two years? And nothing's really changed. I kind of got bored of it. Warplanes is fun, except I can't show you that because it's under non-disclosure. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get kicked out of the alpha anyway for inactivity. Because I, uh, I haven't done any testing this month, so... That's also why I got kicked out of the super test on World of Tanks is inactivity, but that was because I got bored of the game, so. That was more so the game being boring than me tiring of testing. I would be testing World of Warplanes, but I'm slightly busy. We're getting sound cues everywhere, good lord. This leads to the way that we want to go to be quick. There's a bunch of different exits to areas. I don't remember where they lead. I want to just skim through this area relatively quick. We'll come back through here later when it's a bit more pertinent to explore. I'll be back if they add new game modes. I'll certainly play World of Tanks if they add more game modes, but I seriously don't see that happening in the near future. And if it does happen, I'll know relatively quick because I do test servers. Yay, test servers. I wish you would stop putting your sword away. That's the one thing I don't like about this, is the sheathing and unsheathing of the weapons takes so long. That was a nice block with your sword there for an arrow. I'm not sure how he managed to do that. Let's cut this way. Let's not cut that way, because there's freaking tomatoes everywhere. Well, they say that, Martin. They say it's... Um, let's... I'm pretty sure if you cast magic around that, it will get pissed off at you. It will also maul your face if you're incapable of telling by the large amount of hit points and level it has. Uh, these are entities, or entities, or entites, or I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but there's several of them scattered about. They're all extremely high level compared to the area they're in. Uh, there's also elements that are usually relatively high level, but they're not as obscene as these things are. Uh, don't mess with those. I'm pretty sure casting magic around them sets them to aggressive. They're currently neutral, so I'm going to try and not piss that thing off. Because it will kill you very, very quickly. Anyway, they say it's set for 7-whatever, but then they also said we would get new game modes at the end of beta, and that didn't happen at all. Where am I going? The wrong way. Let's go this way. Hut, hut, hut. I see you over there with your entity friend. Or in tight friend or whatever. That's... Um, yep. One of those guys. Yeah, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. <laughs> the problem now is, uh, yeah. Into tight didn't like that terribly well. Okay. Let's run this way and just leave it over there. Let's see. 
let me just explain what happened there. One of those guys, oh dear, we're gonna die right away. One of those guys cast Lunge, which set it to aggressive on them. And it doesn't appear to like us. It just cast Silencer. Let's run this way, shall we? But then, uh, Fran there cast Cure, or started casting Cure after that, which then set it aggressive to us. I'm pretty sure it's just gonna keep chasing us. No? Let's kill some stuff over here, shall we? We're gonna have to remove that Silence. Uh, white. Vox. Vox removes silence. Let's see here. It does take a little bit too long to, to get the next uh, rank of tank, to be honest, but there's only so many ranks, so they do have to kind of spread it out a bit. I'm just gonna Vox everyone. Vox is... Using magic, by the way, is way better than using items, because uh, you can just run circles around and get your MP back, so... Anyway, we should be safe from the Intite. It should still be over there, butchering someone. We'll just run this way, shall we? The first thing that thing does will cast uh, Silence all everyone. It silences everyone around it. And I'm pretty sure after that it will start casting offensive magic if you uh, do something silly. There's a lot of dudes with haste down here. I don't like that. Yeah, the, the, the thing with free-to-play is they tend to slow down the game on, uh, to try and get you to purchase stuff that would speed it up. That's, that's the thing I like with Star Trek, is so far, anyway, I have yet to actually have a reason to purchase anything. I just killed that guy in one hit, didn't I? Yeah. Plus, it's Star Trek and this space combats and stuff, and I needed something to replace Eve since I got tired of that. I did, in fact, play Eve. Someone in the Star Trek video asked me to, to do an Eve video or whatever. Where am I and what am I doing? Went the wrong way again. No idea what I'm doing. Let's get this chest, shall we? I just, I kind of got bored of Eve. I, the thing with Eve is uh, the PvP and the, the null sec or whatever, the zero security, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's where most of the, the fun fun with a capital F happens, most of dying and whatnot. Um, but I wasn't really fond of that, so I was mostly missioning and PvE and stuff like that, so... Which it didn't offer any endgame styled PvE that I could do or go the wrong way. And this is why I hate this place, by the way, because I get lost continuously. This is where the entity was, wasn't it? This is where we ran from. I don't even know. I mean, they have the, they have the high level missions that you'd need a group to do, but... It's not like something you could do, you can just hop into like a queue or something and queue up for it. This guy is Reflect for whatever reason. That icon is Reflect, by the way. Don't sleep, don't do anything. Okay. Continuing this way, hopefully the entities m meandered off. Am I going the right way yet? I don't even know. Yes. Okay. Progress is being made! Glorious progress. This is the second chain level, by the way. There's a there's four chain levels, I think. The fourth one or the third one will give you uh, random. Whoever picks it up will get a random status effect occasionally. Very small chance of it. And uh, the fourth level has a decent chance of giving a full party buff, like protect on everyone, which is uh, pretty sweet. It helps a lot when you're doing single monster grinding, like the the skeletons and. Uh, the Lusu mines or whatever, you start ch you stack up that chain level and you start getting protect and stuff, and it helps a lot. Plus it gives you better loot progressively as you level up. If I'm not mistaken, not picking up items will actually uh, speed up the process of getting a higher chain level, but to be honest, it's only a few extra kills the difference, so it doesn't really matter terribly much. Plus, we have Vossler here, so he just butchers everything anyway. I mean, 260 damage a hit. You just don't mess around with 260 damage a hit. Where are we going this time? Let's see. Apparently straight left. That makes it pretty easy. Kill it. There we go. The boss at the end of this area is actually relatively difficult. There, I think that's actually what's down here is the idol I'm going to talk about. There's a special item you can get from doing a uh, certain kind of side questy, vibey thing in this area. He's got a ninja sword. That's the sword I want for Vaughn in the end of this. Is a ninja sword. But uh, you can do kind of a side questy thing that'll give you a 
some berries or something, and you throw the berries at the boss at the end, it'll take a huge amount of his health off, which is very good. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the more traditional method and teach everyone dark. The boss is a holy enemy, if I'm not mistaken, so it's going to be weak to arcane or dark magic or whatever you want to call it. Nice blocks, man. Vaughn's getting some sweet blocks on these archers. Not sure what Ash is doing back there. The problem with the AI when they cure is they completely stop during the entire casting process. Which they kind of just stand there and then they fall back behind everyone, so... Um, will I kill the, the, the demon wall? Probably not, in the first run anyway. Oh, I don't want to fight you, go away. Freaking things. Messing with my chains and stuff. There's uh, there's two demons, demon wolves. If you kill the first one, you get a special sword, and this is in the tomb, by the way. I'm just spoiling all sorts of crap at this point. Probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Uh, the first one is twice as hard as the second one, and you have half as much time to do it. Um, so it's it's basically four times as hard if you multiply those two together. But it's pretty hard compared to the second one. Uh, no. I shouldn't have probably done that, because that was stupid. Uh, if you touch save crystals, or you go into a town, or anything like that, you completely nullify your uh, chain level. And that is one of those things we've been butchering, and he was talking to this Moogle here. What do you say, Moogle? I did, yes. This one wanted help, eh? A Panzer IV, and you like to move fast. Uh, tell me, please. They're blood enemy, it seems. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do is you have to kill this uh, this enemy here they're talking about. It's it's pretty hard to miss it. It's a giant freaking tortoise. Um, and you you kill it, come back to this guy, and he should give you a uh, an item. I guess, well, I probably won't come back to him to get the item, but whatever. Um, I'm not sure how you expect him to go the T-34, T-34, or E-5 line from a Panzer IV, but I was going to say uh, you would try and cut over to the Panther II and E-50. Those are actually Russian. Well, technically they're American the way he typed it, but <laughs> he's referring to the Russian mediums. He just didn't put a dash in it. Uh, let's see here. The, the thing with the... I'm just going to start mixing games together at this point. The thing with the Panther 1 is it's it's slow. It's really slow. It's not very maneuverable. But the Panther 2 and E50 both have pretty high maneuverability. They're fun tanks. I personally have an E50. I might eventually rebuy a Panther 2 at some point because it's pretty good. I didn't particularly like the first Panther, but whatever. Anyway, Final Fantasy. i got to fill this void of... Bollocks nonsense somehow, may as well talk about something. To be honest, these kinds of games, and uh, for instance Mario, which I know SSOHPKC does, and he says this multiple times, these type of games, these situations, are kind of hard to commentate over, because nothing really happens. And he slowed me. Great, I love when that happens. Because nothing really happens, you just kind of have to talk about random crap the whole time. If you're playing Mario, you're you're doing the same thing every single time for 300 videos. Not a whole lot happening. Luckily, this one has a bit of story interdispersed among the bullcrap that I keep spewing out of my mouth here, which is my job, basically. If you want to call this a job, anyway. As of right now, it's not a job. I make essentially nothing off of people watching these videos, and there's some loot over here. I'm not actually sure what I would make off of these videos. I think the chopper is a dagger? Is it? Where's it at? It is! It is a dagger. It's also better than mine, and it has on hit sap. Sap, I believe, is an HP drain. So I'm gonna use that. Um, she probably doesn't have anything now. Let's just optimize here. Uh, bronze armor? Sure. That'd be good. We'll have to use some uh, license points to give them some additional equipment stuff in a bit here. Probably right before we hit the boss. I doubt we'll have that much, that much equipment. But now we have a chance of ca causing sap on hit. 
I wonder how long this slow is gonna last. Now I'm asleep. Now I'm awake. <laughs> Got hit instantly there. Good God. I'm not sure how long this slow status of lasts, but whatever. I'm not gonna waste a remedy on it. It's not like it's really hampering my ability to kill these people, so whatever. But anyway. I'm still waiting on the YouTube Live feature to be enabled. I'm not sure when that'll happen. Hit him. Hey, nice. Oh, we got two hits. Good. I thought he was going to get hit by tri -Tech. I'm not sure what'll happen. Apparently, uh, the YouTube Live feature is actually pretty decent. So, what will probably happen, if I actually ever get it, and if I deem it decent, actually usable. Uh, the tortoise is over here. That's why these guys ran off. There it is is I'll probably uh, stream to it and Twitch for a few days. And then, uh, let me swing around this way here. Let them deal with it for a second. What will probably happen is, uh, apparently, according to Martin, the chat's no good. If I deem it good, I'll stream... Uh, well, actually, I'll just do this anyway. I'll stream to Twitch and YouTube for a few days. And then, uh... Want to hit that thing, please? Ah, oh, they're gonna kill that. Whatever. I'll, I'll stream to both of. Them. I'm just butchering my entire sentence here. Stream to both of them for a little bit, and then uh, stream to YouTube Live and just stop Twitch if I deem Live to be decent. If I don't deem Live to be decent, then I'll just keep doing uh, Twitch. So. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. It is live is an early feature, so it obviously could use some improvements. I'm not sure who he's following. By the way, as his health gets lower, his defense gets higher, so he'll progressively do less and less damage. I'm not sure what he's doing. I think he's following Vaughn. Or no, he's following that archer. Yeah. He's trying to follow the archer. A super easy way to kill this thing is to... Uh, cast blind on it, which will half his accuracy, which leaves just basically his uh, low-level magic, which is pretty easy to tank. Other than that, though, you can, if you want to, just try and uh, range tank him like this and force him to move around a lot so he slows down his attack speed. Otherwise, you could just beat the crap out of him. Once he hits critical, his defense is like four times as much as when you started, so he gets kind of ridiculous to actually try and kill the stupid dude. Oh, there he goes. Once you kill him, gives you this crap. And now we can go back and get the uh, doohick if we wanted to. I have no interest in that. Because I'm going to be stupid and do it the hard way, and we have no map for this half. I assume we're going this way. This way. Is it this way? I don't know. Yes, this way. Okay. Apparently the chat is terrible and it has a better stream. Someone in the uh, the TGN chat box, which is who I'm partnered with, if you didn't notice that yet, uh, said the, the the stream chat is actually live during the stream and then afterward it converts everything to comments. I've never actually watched a live stream on YouTube, so I had no idea how it looks or works or whatever. But whatever. It would give me a bit more... Uh, I don't even know why I keep opening the map. I can't see anything on it. It would obviously open up streams to more viewers. Not that I particularly care too much. I mean, I've been streaming this game and several other games to like three or four people for several weeks now. Um, but it would open up to, you know, subscribers that don't, for whatever reason, know I'm on Twitch or something stupid like that. Which, if they don't know I'm on Twitch, I'm just going to assume they're relatively retarded how many times I've said I'm on Twitch. That guy's beating the crap out of him. That's that's why I like uh let's see. That's why I like the, the loyal subscribers like like uh Martin, Akasha, all the people who comment in like all of my videos. Uh Vaporeon who's for all intents and purposes an admin anyway. So whatever. That would be who I did Portal 2 with, by the way. She gifted me Portal 2. Um, those people I really like, because they're there watching my stuff, entertaining me, amusing me, giving love and huggles and cookies to all. Those people I like. The people who just kind of, you know, eh, show up, maybe one video, subscribe. I don't really care about them, in all honesty. 
That sounds kind of douchey, but it's true. Don't really care. I got like 30, 35 subscribers from that World of Tanks video. I can guarantee 99% of those people didn't watch any of my other videos. They just hit subscribe. Which means I have no interest in them whatsoever. Cookies to everyone. I give cookies to my loyal fanbase because they are my loyal fanbase and I adore them. At this point, I do this for the loyal fanbase. Actually, not really. At this point, and probably for points in the very far future, um, I do this be mainly because it's fun. I'm playing the game anyway. I may as well, you know, entertain some people or try to entertain some people while I play it. Yeah. But it's always nice, you know, actually have people loyal to you that watch your stuff, enjoy watching your stuff. Apparently, Martin thinks I am the best World of Tanks -er ever. <laughs> It's not actually what he said, but I'm going to put those words in his mouth like a boss. I think this is the way we're supposed to go. Um, the strategy games are probably at this point... Maybe... The strategy and World of Tanks games are probably half of my, or more, of my channel's views. But, to be honest, you know, I, I can't just play, you know, as as much as some of these people would want me to, I can't just play Supreme Commander all day, every day. Let me go this way, I think. So, I believe this is the end of the Sand Sea, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not going to stop playing strategy games, it's not the end of the Sand Sea. But I can't just play as much as these people want, because, you know, they really wanted me to do multiplayer stuff. I can't just play Supreme Commander all day. It's, I did the campaign of all of them. I did Forged Alliance twice and stuff. I would... I'm, well, people and my view count would love for me to do, uh, I'll just kill these people, I was going to run by them, but whatever, would love for me to redo Men of War since that had to be deleted, but I, I put up one video, I just don't feel like recording it, so if I don't feel like recording it, it doesn't get recorded. So, if, if you enjoy a game, I'm not sure why you subscribe to me, because I'm not just playing a game. I do this for commentary. If you enjoy commentary and subscribe, that means you're more than likely going to watch everything I do because you're there for commentary, which is the point of the channel. Why are you hitting her? She's way in the back. Whatever. I just don't understand YouTube, like, the people on YouTube, what the reasons they subscribe for. I don't understand. Hello, Martin Peterson. Now I've got two Martins. That's just going to be confusing. I hope you all. I hope Martin Peterson doesn't have the same name because the same color on his name. Because then we're just gonna have a bunch of green people in the chat room. Confuse the crap out of me here. Uh, let's see. Like Alduin, he had no interest in the game. So I can understand if you've if you've re no real interest in the game and you don't like watch a lot of them, but if you don't at least watch, you know one of them to see what's going on or what the commentary would be. Thank you, Ultron. <laughs> you, you're you not really there particularly for the commentary so much as a specific game that you came for. Probably 80% of my subscribers are actually from Supreme Commander and World of Tanks, which I no longer play, which means they subscribe and don't watch anything, which isn't particularly helpful for any side of the combination here. Anyway, that's, you know, you gotta start somewhere. I'm, I'm a relatively unknown person, so I gotta roll with what I got. This is the end of the sand sea. Now I'm in the right place, because there's the traitor dude. Traitor dude! Traitor dude. Give me your stuff. Why have you come to such a place? I like how it stops everyone uh, in your party and all the enemies and stuff in frame, so they're all like mid-run, but the chocobos, and they're, they're just kind of, you know, flapping their wings, chilling and stuff. Um, whatever. <laughs> that was just me rambling about about how I hate inactive subscribers, by the way. I have nothing against you, Aljuin, because you're here. So he has a shop. He will, uh, he sells a killer bow, bow apparently. May as well buy that and throw it on her. I wanted to equip that to her, but whatever. Freaking things all over the place. Hey, look, onion arrows. 
You can also get onion shot and uh, onion bolts. Onion shots, obviously, for gun. Onion bolts, there's uh, crossbows, I believe, you can get, which are higher power, but uh, have a longer fire rate, I believe, I think, or something like that. Longer refire rate. And onion bombs are throwable. Um, can't remember what weapon type uses that, but we need to grab... Um, I'd love to have a few high potions. I think that'll be good. Is there anything here we need? Oil, silence, no. Oil, by the way, is increased fire damage, as you might expect from something that casts oil. Um, is this the end, or does this lead to a save point? I think this leads to a save point. If it doesn't, I'm going to be greatly disappointed here. Hmm. Let's check licenses before I wander in there, just in case. Um, what's that? Battle lore? Yes, please. Increases battle lore, magic lore, all of the lores you can get in this game need to be had for everybody. You can grab magic three. I could try getting... Where is, uh... Is it in this direction? I'm trying to figure out where dark is. It's arcane one, I'm pretty sure. Where is Arcane 1 at? I have no freaking idea, but is that it? Hey, there it is! We need to have everyone except for Fran in the party with uh, Arcane 1, at least, because this boss is uh, requiring of that. Well, not really requiring. Remedy lores, by the way, are also good. They improve your remedies. May as well get potion lore. Let's see. do 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 See what, see what, uh, apparently Alderwin posts videos, by the way, so go check out his channel. Um, what he does, apparently, is he posts videos showcasing the game, so he's gonna get people who want, who just want to see the game or something specific to the game. I make these videos mainly specifically for commentary. Where are we going here? Let's check this way. So if people subscribe and end up not liking the commentary, there's Ninja Swords 1 right there. There's really no point in honestly being subscribed. Is he doing light armor? Yeah. We have no reason to get light armor four, as it turns out. So let's go to Fran. She hasn't even hit bows three yet. Good God. And she needs better armor, doesn't she? Not really, actually. Cause she's usually in the back. Rigs of rods. What is uh? Rigs of rods. I have no idea. Apparently it's some sort of driving game without any goal. You need to have Arcane 1. Actually, no, she doesn't. Whatever, I just waste the license points on that. Um, and she needs Battle Lore and Magic Lore. Yes, is what I meant to hit there. And Magic Lore. Could probably try and get her another... Um, where is it at, actually? Can she not get a second one yet, or what? No, there's a quick thing. Oh, oh that's right, Ash got it. So she can't get that one yet. Never mind. So the next quickenings are actually not far away, actually. I could try for that one. Poach is basically useless. And Traveler is also basically useless. And I've got two useless ones. Um, I thought that was a quickening right there. Must have read that wrong. Well, hmm. Shades of Black actually is... Uh, it can either be really good or really bad, as it says it casts random black magic on one foe. You can get max level black magic at the beginning of the game, or you can get level 1 black magic at the end of the game. So obviously it's pretty random. Uh, Vaughn, can you get that? I just saw something I want him to have. He can! Shield block. Increases chance of blocking. Apparently, Rigs of Rods is a free roam driving game, and all content for it is mods. Fancy, actually. I might have to Google that if I remember to. Anyway. Uh, Ash, that's who I wanted to have Arcane 1. She is all the way up there. There it is. Yes, there's Flare in this game. I don't know if there's Ultima or not. I'm not going to waste 70 points to check if there's Ultima or not. But um, She needs to grab some of this here. She, good God, just fine. Have a Gambit slot, Ash. Jesus. I want a gambit slot so bad. Actually, I probably should have got that 35 one, because that would have unlocked magic lore as well. she have a shield? Yes. Let's give her that. Uh, battle lore again? Sure. Just l stacking on lores here. Adrenaline? No. Max HP? Sure. Max HP is always good. 
After you've nommed. I could give her a second quickening, actually. You know what? Let's... I know I was going this way for Fran, but... She's already here. Let's go ahead and grab that. So now she will have a second level quickening. Last stand, by the way, is actually pretty good. It's kind of what the turtle had. Increased defense as your HP drops. Can be pretty useful. She needs Cura. And I totally forgot to get that for Fran, too, didn't I? Oop, I can now. There we go. I'll, I'll, for now, because of the limited mana, I will manually control using Cura. So you have two people with Cura now. Look at Pinello's license points. Good God. Anyway. Uh, Gambits don't need to change. Yeah, we do, actually. You don't need to change. You do. You need to cast Dark. That's what we need to cast. There it is. Okay. So she'll cast Dark. I'll manually cast Dark. In we go. Vossler will cast uh, Telepathic, I think is the spell he'll use. You will now have the option of saving your game for a reason. Save it. Do not pass this opportunity to save the game. You will be disappointed if you do.